Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, today, our lesson will be on the interface for Civil 3D. To start Civil 3D, we use the blue icon instead of the red icon. The red icon was just plain vanilla AutoCAD. Um, it came with no extra layers, very limited. Starting the blue icon, we get the Civil 3D menu, which is AutoCAD plus all the civil engineering tools that they've added into it. Okay, uh, so really we're going to have to start and do our lab one all over again, which was setting up the interface because the defaults are all messed up again. So I can go back and uh, save my current workstation. I'm going to call mine Denton. Go into the workstation preferences or settings and make sure they're set on automatically saving. Um, yeah, okay, I'm on down. We want to take the command area. My preference is to dock it and make it at least three lines tall. That way I can see something. Uh, toolbars, minus toolbar, uh, draw, show. I hate this on-screen crap. That is on the menus tool, I like to turn on at least coordinates. Uh, I'm going to turn on dynamic input so that I can turn the feature off. I have screen space, so I'm going to turn them all on. You have to decide which ones you want on, but it's hard to know what's affecting your command line or your cursor if you can't find what they are and turn them off. Okay. Um, toolbars. I got a toolbar. I got the draw toolbar. Right click on that. I want my layers toolbar. I will see, bam, I've got a boatload of layers that I received automatically because I started the civil program. Um, other menus, I've got map classic stuff. I've got express. I've got civil. I've got AutoCAD. I can't see my map pull down though, but if I do a menu bar, one for on, bingo, I see my map stuff. If you did not have the map stuff, you'd want to do a menu load, menu load, type in map classic and hit load, uh, but I already have it. Okay, um, in the options, in the file tab, I like to add a support file path. I go to the bottom of it and add a new one and then browse to wherever I store my CAD tools. BT CAD tools, okay. Now if I close my AutoCAD and start it up again, let me hit the blue icon again, I should get all my tools or a lot of my settings to run automatically. So it remembered my settings. My navigation stuff turned off automatically. Um, I should probably explain that. In my CAD tools, C drive, CAD tools, I have a startup function in my ACAT doc file that says, turn the nav, nav cube off, turn the nav bar off, make sure my middle button pan is turned on. File dialog and command dialog can sometimes get turned off by accident. I like to have them on. So my settings set critical settings for me automatically when it starts up. You can add the same thing to your ACAT doc list routine. Okay, if you want them. Now, what am I seeing inside here? So instead of uh, draw, modify, and all those tools, we now have survey, points, surfaces, parcels, grading, alignments, profiles, corridors, sections, pipes. We've got civil 3D functionality. Okay, another new thing for us is the tool space. On the home ribbon bar, tool space is a pop-up menu that I like to leave on the screen all the time. I use the prospector to look at things inside my site. 
I'll use it a lot in the coming classes on surfaces. Um, I also use the settings tab to get into the coordinate systems. Um, and probably after round midterm, we'll probably get into doing survey stuff with the survey tab. Um, the prospector tools, which tools show up are depending on which checkboxes you have as well beside tool space. Okay, um, I did mention that we have a boatload of layers now since we have a new system. The new system works correctly dependent on the template drawing having preset data already in it. So if I were to look at my settings and look at points and look at my point label styles, there's a boatload of options already in here. I'm getting these because these things are in my template drawing. Now, if you were to start a new drawing from scratch without a good template, so let's say I say new, it grabbed my template automatically. Okay, try that again. Don't say that. Let's say file new. It says, what template do you want to use? The default, the, the default template will be the Civil 3D Imperial NCS template. But let's say I took that one I created earlier myself for plain old AutoCAD, which did not have any of the layers in it. Well, maybe I had a couple. But if I look at my settings for my point label styles, there's nothing in here. So using a non-Civil 3D template is very bad. And if you try to open anybody's work from a different software package that's not Civil 3D, you will also have no, no luck at all. So the next module, we'll talk about how to fix that. But what we're gonna to need to do is make a new template using the Civil 3D template at our border and title block to that and all that type of stuff. Okay, so good luck with that. Have a good one. Bye-bye.